Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Norm Muhammad from NM Watch and I'm coming down to you all the way from Malaysia. Okay, so um, today, uh, I no, this time around, I would like to do something different with this, which is I'm going to uh, call my reviews, uh, a few of them anyway, uh, collection in collection, right? So for collection in collection episode one, we're going to talk about this strap. Okay, these three straps from uh, Mr. Sailcloth, alright, so Mr. Sailcloth is, uh, if you guys uh, don't know, this uh, he he has this um, web website called IWantAStrap.com um, and his name, well, well, well at least the, the person who I talked to in, uh, in Instagram is uh, Mr. Clement from Singapore. Okay, so let's get through the product. So uh, if you guys have been following or have been subscribing to my channel, if you haven't done so, please subscribe now, subscribe now. Okay, so please uh, go ahead and check the uh, subscribe button and uh, put on the notification. Okay, so anyway, um, I have done the review for the first piece that I've bought from Mr. Sailcloth, which is this one. Okay, so now I have total of three uh, straps from Mr. Sailcloth. From Mr. Selcroft or I want to which is this uh, 22 millimeters uh, blue stitching and 22 millimeters uh, red stitching and also the 20 millimeters uh, red stitching. Okay, so I'm going to talk about why do I love them, why do I, 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 I uh, why, how do I use them, and uh, what are the other benefits that, uh, and of course, uh, some not so good things about them also. All right, so let's get through to the first strap that I've bought which is this uh, red stitching strap. So let's zoom in a bit. Um, where is the zoom button? All right. Yep. Okay. So this is the first strap that I've bought from Mr. Sidecloth or www.iwantastrap.com. Uh, okay. So as you can see here, it comes in this uh, red stitching. Uh, the lock size is 22 millimeters. Okay. So after... I don't know, maybe four or five months of using, you can see that there is not so much of uh, bending over here on this, um, what do you call this, on this hole. So normally I use, okay, so I've, ah, come on guys, <laughs> no, I hate it when people playing fireworks. Okay, so anyway, let's get back to the watch itself. Um, yes, so this is the 22mm straight stitch, uh, I want a uh, cell cross strap. Okay, so as you can see here, there is a bit of a bent over here on the on where the hole. Uh, I, I I put my my buckle my pin buckle here, and yes, you can see there is a bend. But so far so good. So there is no fraying at any of the uh, straps. You know this this black material. I don't know what to call it. Maybe it is a cell cross material. Not sure. Yes, you can see from at the back the whole where I use uh, a lot, um, and the stitching there is no problem. This at the back this normal your normal uh, your black stitching, and also from the front is your red stitching which looks really really cool and makes the pop uh, sorry and makes the watch pops. Okay, so on top of here and you can see at the uh, other end of the buckle, the top end of the buckle, you can see that the stitching is still intact. The uh, material also, there's nothing, there's no fraying whatsoever. The keeper is still good and there's no scratches whatsoever. After, okay, so you can see that there's a stitching over there, here. And it is properly sewn together in the, in the stitching. Okay, and yes, the buckle. As I've mentioned before in my previous uh, review, you can see that there is a quite a scratch on this uh, polished surface of the buckle. But on the uh, brush surface is still good, no problems whatsoever. Okay, so I do wish that uh, you know Mr. Selkos will produce a version of the same similar strap, but with a brush buckle because it would look way much better, I think. <laughs> okay, so yes. Okay, so um, what else to say about this strap other than it, it is it is really cool. Oh, a good the good thing about this strap. Uh, I'm used to wearing a needle strap, okay, so I love my needle strap, but whenever it is wet, it is it will take quite a while for it to dry, but not with this uh, strap, with this silk strap. It takes like, what, 5-10 minutes to dry. 
so that is one more reason for me uh, to get this uh, silco strap uh, and not the um, some like something like a Kevlar strap which I've uh, I've owned before from Hadley Roma uh, because that Kevlar strap if it, if it is wet is going to stay wet for like what half an hour but this one five ten minutes and it's already dry it's already dry so yeah that's that's really really cool okay so um, what else I can say about these straps other than it's a value for money because you uh, when you buy this from I want a strap dot com um you yes you need to pay a bit expensive 30, about about 35 dollars us dollars but it will be shipped all over the world and sometimes there will be some a discount code okay <laughs> so in my case i've used the discount code from minute watch so please go ahead to minute watch which is another youtube channel by by our fellow youtuber mr kurt in uh, i think he is in hawaii <laughs> okay so i think he mentioned the uh, there is a discount code five percent or ten percent i can't remember okay so yes please go ahead if you are interested so anyway the other this the third benefit uh of this uh, mr circle strap is it makes my this watch has already been with me for the past three years this Aubrey morgan perdada so i've went through a lot of load of um, male straps um leather strap and whatsoever strap that i can put on this watch but finally this strap makes the lot the makes the watch looks new, looks cool again. Okay, so that's the problem with people who have many collections because sometimes we forgot, <laughs> and sometimes we have no idea on how to make the uh, make our watch looks new again. And yes, as I mentioned in my in my uh, in my uh, in my Instagram for this strap will make your watch looks new. Okay, yes, check out that. Check this out. Okay, so let's pop this on the wrist and how and see how it looks. Okay, yes, damn, that's cool. That's really, really cool. So you can see that the buckle is not too big, not too small, and it doesn't really, you know, uh, bug me when I use it. So it's that's not, it's not really too big. So yeah, it's it's, it's just nice for me. It's this this is just nice. I don't really really like the kind of um, you know V. V buckles such as the ones that they use on the um, on the uh, what do you call it uh, I know you know you know you guys know what what do I mean by the preview buckle which where it is to be this one is just nice okay one thing that I need to mention though my wrist is a 6.75 inch wrist so I am on the third and some sometimes I'm on the fourth okay so if you have a smaller wrist yeah maybe 6.5 you will be here and if we have bigger is maybe seven or maybe seven inch you'll be somewhere here or here which leaves me which leaves leaves quite a small quantity of of you know of this of strap left so if you are 7.5 inch or bigger i'm not sure i'm not sure if you, if you can pull this off okay so yeah so let's let's do let's take check out the other one okay so this is the the blue stitching uh uh, blue stitching silk cloth strap from ah they have a few other colors I think uh, red blue white uh, gray and or oh, is it black full totally black I think maybe five colors I I can't remember I'll my right now but they only have two sizes which is twenty two millimeters and twenty millimeters so yes you can see on this this is this is the first one that I bought and this is the second one I think I bought like one month later so you can see it similarly there is a bent here and there is no f you know there's no fraying the stitching is still intact so no problems whatsoever normally when using this type of um, water resistant strap they say it's water resistant but and especially at this end there will be some fraying so you can see that there is no fraying at all right so the stitching is still there and yes this part also there's nothing you know nothing damaged whatsoever and of course yes i mentioned i really, really hate to say this i really hate it when my buckles scratch like hell <laughs> so you know because when you put on this strap you think you will feel that this watch can do everything okay this watch can go um, swimming this watch can you can bring this to do some household or something like that so i i kind of you know kind of want this one to be non-flashy because yes it looks rugged and it looks sporty why should i baby my watch when i have this 
super sporty straps, right? So yeah, it's it's kind of really really annoys me when I scratch this part. Anyway, I will maybe I will try to buff it off using the um um uh, cape cord cloth or something like that. Anyway, we'll we'll see we'll see. All right. So next one, this we have the final uh size of strap which is the twenty millimeters. Oh, I forgot to mention for this. 22 millimeters lug with uh, strap you will have a you the, the the dimension actually tapers okay so you will have this uh, buckle in 20 millimeters right so 22 becomes 20 20 which is another cool feature right so for this 20 millimeters strap which uh, looks awesome on my Seiko monster Dracula by the way <laughs> okay yes this this end is 20 millimeters and this end is 18 millimeters so this buckle is significantly smaller compared to this one okay so what does that what that does that means it means that when you use it when I use it in my race it is much much more comfortable compared to the 22 millimeters and I love this how the how this stitching red stitching makes the watch pops all right so i really really love that okay so um what else to talk about um yeah i think that's all oh sorry i have to mention that this two watch this obris morgan predator and also this uh, um, uh seiko monster dracula has is one of actually this is the first ever automatic watch that i have this is the second one i bought i've bought this um somewhere around um, June 2014 and this one is around I don't know maybe October 2014 okay so both of these have been in my collection for quite some time and yes the red stitching on this um, I, uh, Mr. Sailcloth strap makes it really really pop and makes it looks new that is super duper cool okay so I'm gonna take this off and I'll show you how it compares yes I think yeah, you can take these two together. You can see that this buckle is this right. This buckle on the right side is significantly smaller compared compared to this one. Okay, so let's see how it looks on my wrist. Yep. Okay. Yes. Oh, sorry. I didn't. Yes. All right. So yes, you can see that it is super 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 comfortable it's thin under there yes it looks awesome the monster really pops <laughs> man i think i think i do think that seiko should have made this type of sail cloth, sail, sail cloth strap as one of their option for the uh, you know for their for the future products because you know man if this uh, we have it's being made by Seiko, like it will produce for much larger quantity. I think it will be much cheaper, you know. So <laughs> no offense to Mr. Seiko, though. I think you can, you guys can produce much, much more interesting product in the future. Oh, anyway, so if you, you know, this is just my suggestion to Mr. Seiko. Um, why don't you put that, you know, quick release step, and that will be much, much more appreciated, appreciated by. Uh, by your customers, I think. <laughs> okay, what do you guys say? Okay, so if you guys want a uh, want a quick release step, please give your comments down below. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure Mr. Mr. Clement from Singapore or from uh, I Want Strap will will check out this video and uh, maybe yes, maybe he will include that uh, quick release step in the near future. Okay, so all in all, I think that this is a great buy, and you will not regret it. Because the price for thirty five dollars, you uh you get uh, international uh, shipping for like maybe one week or maybe uh, ten days, which is uh, not so bad, not 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 that worse either. But yeah, I think uh, it is a great value for money product. And uh, to Clement from Mister Selkos, good job, bro, good job. Okay, so I'm proud to be your uh, friendly neighborhood Malaysia. <laughs> okay, so if you, if you, to Mr. Clement, if you happen to come to Malaysia, please do give me a call and we'll have a drink together. Yeah, all right. So, oh, no, I will bring you to eat durian. <laughs> That's much better. Okay, so uh, if you guys, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more uh, content such as this, please give me a subscribe by, subscribe by, but uh, clicking the button down below maybe here or here i'm not sure so um i think uh, that's all for today and i will see you in the next one bye bye